Hey y'all, Kathy here. Um, I still want to talk about the ventral vagal state, and that is one of the three autonomic nervous system states. Ventral vagal is where we want to be. It's where we're creative, resourceful. We feel peaceful and expansive. We're better at problem solving and we're more creative. The other two autonomic nervous system states are the sympathetic nervous system state, fight or flight, on high alert, lots of energy in that one. And then the lowest one, the dorsal vagal. That's where we feel hopeless and depressed, very low energy. And I started off kind of this series about the ventral vagal and why it's important for leadership, talking about why meditate. So why might great leaders meditate? And, and the reason is it's one of the best ways to get yourself up into the ventral vagal state. And the reason I mention it first is there is so much research behind it. Okay, even meditating for a small amount of time every day in two weeks, you can already see benefits. And they are all the benefits of the ventral vagal state. It's lowered blood pressure, better sleep, higher immune system, and all those other things I talked about. More peace, more creativity, uh, more resilience, more confidence. All of those things come from meditation. There's one form of meditation that is particularly um, well-researched, and that is the loving-kindness meditation. Now, um, there's lots of them online, so I'll let you look them up. There's uh, different flavors. Uh, there's a Christian-based uh, loving-kindness meditation uh, in addition to like a whole bunch of others. So just look them up because find the one that has meaning for you. But let me give you the basics on it. So you want to start the loving kindness meditation in a very peaceful, expansive place. So I talk about finding your happy place. So you find your happy place and then you're going to say a few phrases like, and it's about you. May I feel abundance. May I have peace. May I be well. All right. So they're all about you. Second round, make sure you're in that expansive place. And then you're going to think about someone you love and you're going to say, may they have abundance, may they be well, may they have peace, right? Same phrases, whatever you want them to be. Uh, then next, you're going to think about someone that just kind of, you know, maybe an acquaintance, no strong feelings either way about this person. And then go and say the same phrases about that person. Then comes the challenging part. And then you're going to think about someone you do not care for at all. Find that same expansive place and then do the loving kindness meditation and say it to them. Right? And that's where we learn empathy. Right? It's one of the ways that in emotional intelligence, empathy is a key part. It's one of the ways that we can develop empathy, research-based, through the loving kindness meditation. I add on at the end, one for everyone, for the entire world. I do all those phrases again. Some interesting research has come out that shows that if you are thinking of someone and they are your target for the loving kindness meditation, they actually, in before and after, when asked about their feelings of well being, improve. So there's also research that shows that the loving kindness meditation not only helps you get up to the ventral vagal, but also whomever you're meditating about. Now, I'm not going to begin to try to explain that. I stick to research as much as possible, but just just keep that in your back pocket and uh, know that it's there. Y'all have a good day.